Yeah, we're moving. Not. I'm not moving. Our oldest son, Dylan, got himself a house. He bought a house in the city, which is fine. And it's not a very big house, but it's more than big enough for him. And uh, his hopes are to be able to get this sucker paid off real quick and then use it as a rental as he's looking at a second place in five years time or so if he can get it paid off in five years and then go and find something that he really wants and then use this as a secondary income so to speak or a rental but anyway we're gonna see if little red is gonna start he should it's not that cold out here really it's not plugged in um, we got to do a little bit of feeding I got a big ass bunk that I built a number of years back and the plan for it was to have it so it acted like a self feeder where it held as much feed as all those bunks that the big cow herd has but I did not design it right I'll admit to that and it doesn't work the way I hoped it would but it does work as a regular bunk there he goes and so so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get that one bunk inside the one crowl because I want to have them animals it doesn't matter what animals are in that crowl I want them on uh, cut feed from the tub grinder and then we gotta fill up some bunks out in the pasture so we'll bring you guys back in a little bit okay guys so uh what are we here saturday january i don't know january 2nd i guess so you see this feed bunk right here i built this a few years back and i screwed up on it i made it the right width i wanted and the idea is you could fill this sucker right up to the very top, way up out, of, out here, and it would act as a self-feeder and hold a shitload of feed, right? And you don't need much to hold the feed in, and that's what the plywood's for. But where I screwed up, see these bars here? I had this, I should have put these bars on a collar that would rotate up and down so you can adjust your height. And they should have been longer because I had a, a plank sitting on the top side of them I took the planks off but yeah the idea was to have it so that the cows can act as a self feeder and eat for like a week and a half out of this thing right as it turns out with the angle I put those bars it doesn't work the way I wanted it to so now we just use it as a regular feed bunk and that feed bunk is going in this crowd. It's kind of a pain in the ass because the sucker's six feet wide and 24 feet long. So it's a little bit of a pain in the ass to move around. But uh, we'll get her in there and get it filled up. And life will be good for these girls too. We'll bring you guys back in a little bit. Well, good day everybody. How y'all doing today? You got yourselves BP here. We're just out, we're gonna run a one more bucket load out to these cows in the pasture out here. They don't necessarily need to be uh, fed today. They got quite a bit of feed, but I'm just gonna top the bunks off anyway. It's Sunday, January the 3rd, I believe. Now I wanna show you guys something. See that dirt pile right there? That would be from a god darn badger. He's humming around here and uh, one of these days I'm going to catch sight of him and take care of him. Last thing I need is a shitload. It's bad enough we got lots of gopher holes. And that's why he's around here is because of the gophers. But I don't need a whole bunch of badger holes too and have a cow step in a hole and break a leg or a horse step in a hole and break a leg as they're running around and playing around. 
So yeah, we're gonna hopefully we'll get sight of him and we'll be able to take care of that sucker. Um, and then we've got a our grain grinder, which is actually an old mix mill, but the tank has been ripped off because the gear bo box blew up in it. So the tank was cut off, and then the guy quit using it. The hammer mill part of it still works. Um, and he gave it, basically said, here, take it, otherwise it's just going to go scrap steel. So he gave it to us. This was a number of years back, and every year we tend to use it a little bit. And so, But it's got a very, very, very flat tire on it. And so at least it's only flat on one side. So I'll bring you guys back when we get hooked up to that sucker and I'm going to see if I can find a tire in the yard here that'll work on that thing. So we'll bring you back at that time. Alrighty, well, we're hooked up. Something wrong with that tire. You can see that one over there, it's turning. But that one's not turning. So we're just going to drag this some bit over to the shop and uh, see what we've got for rubber because we can't have a tire that's flat on the one side and round on the other three sides how's that sound <laughs> he doesn't want to turn where the darn so we'll find out what we got for rubber and we might get lucky and we might even have something that's on a rim so at least that's the hope anyways how's that sound I do believe I've got a 15 inch tire around here somewhere that should work on this thing and should hold some kind of air. So anyway, we'll bring you back in a minute or two. Houston, we have a problem. It's not working right. I believe we got the right tire. This sucker ain't doing too good, that's for sure. And he's so weather checked and busted up, cracked up, he'll never hold air. But this one, he's got air in him. And I believe it's the same rim size. So we're going to give her a try. Hopefully we'll get lucky. So. Just like so. Get the tire off. And... Uh, get the new one on and see what that does for us uh, not sure if I'm gonna be grinding any grain here today or not but I want to get some grain ground up here fairly darn quick uh, if we don't do it today we might do it tomorrow we'll find out we'll bring you guys back in a bit alrighty guys well there she be the tire is on it works and I greased her all up and she's ready to rock and roll. Now this isn't the world's greatest friggin' grinder in the world, but it does the good enough job for us. How's that sound? And I see I do have one blown up bearing right down there, but for how much we're using it, I ain't gonna worry about it. This old piece of crap, it might be old and it is kind of a piece of crap. Uh, realistically speaking, the frame right here would come out a little farther and there used to be a big tank on top here with a screw in it to keep mixing your grain and all the stuff you're putting in there your minerals your grains if you're putting uh, square bales in it it would mix that all up and make a really nice total mix ration but we just use it for the hammer mill and it works good enough and I don't need no fancy friggin nothing fancy at this point one day one day so, anyway, it's lunchtime. I'm going to go have some, and we'll see what happens after that. But at least we got a tire on there now. Talk to you guys in a bit. Alrighty, guys. Well, here we are. We're set up, and I'm grinding some grain with that old clunker. But the friggin' wind is blowing it hard on me. We're just dumping the ground grain right into the dump trailer over there. Cheap man grain trailer. But it's getting kind of messy because of the freaking wind. See, Pete didn't want me to put it into our feed bin. 
He just wants to pail it right out of the right out of the uh, dump trailer or the grain trailer. So this this grain that we're grinding, it's hemp, screenings, barley, a little bit of wheat that we cleaned up for a neighbor that he overspilled uh, in his field, and he said. Well, it was on his uh, on his uh, grain bin, and he said, "Just come and get her. If you can clean it up, you can have it." So we cleaned it up best we could, just with shovels and hands. Anyways, yeah. So there's a little bit of wheat in here and a little bit of peas also. So, and then I'm throwing the odd bale of oats in it that I bought from another neighbor. Anyway, back at her. Talk to you later. Okay guys, well, the sun has gone down and it's going to be dark here right away. <coughs> Takes forever. That friggin' hemp doesn't flow through the machine, it just wants to build up, plug up. But, it doesn't look too bad, really. Hey? There's a few that but it's cracked. It might not be completely ground down. There's a few that got through that are whole on the barley side. But that freaking dust, the wind is just blowing it all over. Look at that. CP ate it big time. I was shoveling in the bin and she was in here dealing with that friggin' spout trying to get it so it wouldn't flop around and blow so bad. And she crawled in and out of my truck a couple times and probably got it real dusty. Right? No. Yeah, you did. <laughs> That's okay. We'll get it cleaned out. You're what? Did you just say you're going to get naked? <laughs> She's going to shower. Get rid of that dust off of her. Uh, but yeah, we got basically half a dump trailer full. Well, not quite, but close. Um, we... If it's not too windy tomorrow morning... I'll fire everything up and I'll grind some more then. It's just this friggin' wind needs to just piss off. I'll be honest with you guys, if I... It wouldn't be so dusty and a lot of all that chaffy shit would be in the mix if we were putting it in our feed bin right there. It's empty. But... When it's breezy like this, I'll show you this feed bin, how this works. And I actually really like it, but if I'm not here, CP hates it. So what I do, set a bucket, a pail, on that, that barrel that's upside down. And then you just come here, and you crank. Oh look, there's a little bit of oats in it. Son of a bitch. Well, not very much. She's basically empty. The birds can have that, along with everything that's on the ground out there. But that's how this one works. You just crank that handle, you fill your pail, and you're good to go. Uh, so, birdie birds. Speaking of birdie birds, I think I'm gonna close this door. I don't know how cold it's supposed to get tonight, but might as well close it. But we did get a bunch of grain ground, which is good. And another thing I did, so when you got a fence line feed, and some guys that are thinking about getting into it, or just starting with getting into it, something you gotta think of is, when the animals are standing here, see I got feed right on the other side. This is our fence line feed system. Then they'll pack snow and they'll manure 
lots right here and it builds up builds up pretty soon they're on their knees trying to get to the feed right and that's not healthy or good for them so i scraped all this out here and there's the pile right there so yeah we scraped the manure out of this area from the bulls and i piled it in the corral over there one day i'll come in here with the tractor and i'll haul it out i got looks like i got push feed up again here maybe i'll grab a pail of that ground up grain and i'll push feed up and i'll sprinkle that grain on top i'll bring you guys back in a bit there feeds all pushed up they got a little bit of chop now sprinkled on top and as they mingle it around they'll it'll become kind of a mixed ration so to speak mm, so right your little thing so yeah anyway give us your old thumbs up comment subscribe tell your friends and neighbors to come on board and subscribe uh and let's get ready to rock and roll for a big draw we're only about a hundred uh, let's see here last I checked we we're basically a hundred and just under 150 more subscribers and that's when the draw is gonna gonna start guys so the sooner we get more subscribers the sooner we have the draw right but uh, yeah and we'll there'll be more details on that draw as time goes on and how we We'll relay again how we're going to do the draw and some of the, basically the questions, I guess. And there's only one restriction to the draw, and basically that is you have to be either be, to win, you have to either be a Canadian citizen or a U.S. citizen. Unfortunately, that's how we're doing it this time. So... And that covers that so everything is ready to rock and roll you just got to start things up and let her rip tomorrow morning can't see shit in there no biggie but i'm gonna call her quits for today again comment subscribe and fun 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 let's get her done catch you guys tomorrow